This week on a special episode of The Club, we're previewing the third annual Rockies Charity Night on AT&T Sportsnet. This amazing night will raise money for the Colorado Rockies Baseball Club Foundation, which supports many organizations in the Denver area. We're supposed to bring great baseball, and that's our, our ultimate goal. But as we do that, you know, we've got to give back to this community because without the support of the community, uh, then, you know, we're for naught. This year's featured charity is Gold Crown Foundation. When it first came out two years ago, that night I saw it and I literally emailed Ray and Bill and Kevin and I said, uh, we need to be a part of this. See firsthand the wonderful work they've been doing in our communities since 1986 and learn how you can participate while getting some great Rocky swag in the process. But that's not all. Wait, there's more? There's a little bit more. This week on The Club, the club is presented by Southwest Airlines. Low fares, no hidden fees, that's transparency. Beginning in 2019, the Rockies Charity Night on AT&T Sportsnet has raised nearly $700,000 over the past two seasons for the Colorado Rockies Baseball Club Foundation and their featured charities, Boys and Girls Clubs of Metro Denver, Big Brothers Big Sisters, Junior Achievement, and ACE Scholarships were the featured charities from the first two events. And on Thursday, September 2nd, Gold Crown Foundation will be the next organization to be highlighted. Gold Crown has grown into one of Colorado's largest youth sports providers, and their enrichment program has positively influenced the lives of over 6,000 kids in the Denver community. Well, exciting times once again in the Denver community, the third annual Rockies Charity Event. And I am happy to be joined by Ray Baker, the co-founder of Gold Crown Foundation. What was your reaction, Ray, when you heard that Gold Crown was going to be the center spotlight of this year's annual charity night for the Rockies? The Rockies have always had unconditional commitment to our programs, not just athletics and baseball, but unconditionally to our C2C program, our technology program, our special needs commitments to our field house. Well, give us a little history lesson. Take us back to 1986. What prompted you and Bill Hanslick to start Gold Crown? What kind of need was there in the community? There were not a lot of what I'd call basketball girls camps at the time. And so I approached Bill about, let's do a girls camp. And he said, well, camps are done all the time. And I said, well, we'll do a nonprofit girls camp, and then we'll turn over the money to uh, charities. 1992, Jefferson County eliminated junior high sports. We decided then to create a league that started with 40, that ended up topping out at over 500. And then that spread into golf, and it spread over to volleyball, and it went into the education and computer clubhouse. And that has technology, art, music, kind of the STEM emphasis. The uh, health huddle, of course, is a key component to our overall uh, programming as it relates to the mental outlook of kids. Wow, I mean, just listening to the evolution of the Gold Crown Foundation over the last 35 years, could you ever imagine that it would stretch and reach so many different types of kids in the community? We never really had that vision that we'd be where we are today. It was basically whatever is in the best interest of the child kind of dictated where we were headed. What's been the most rewarding part of the impact that Gold Crown Foundation's been able to have in the community and your involvement as well? I think the rewarding is our staff. First of all, 80% of our staff were participants and then they became interns and now they've become really the leaders of our foundation, which I think that has brought a special meaning because they've come up what I would say they were grown, homegrown within our organization. And I think that really has made a, an impact on what we want to see in the future and how we want our programs operated. We're so excited to highlight Gold Crown Foundation with the third annual Rockies Charity Night. Thank you so much, Ray. Thank you for having us. Ray mentioned the homegrown group that leads Gold Crown Foundation. That family feel within the walls has shaped their core values. And for over 35 years, has led their mission in the Denver community. Gold Crown has been a place that uh, has provided so many kids from so many different backgrounds with incredible opportunities. Whether it's a kid in our enrichment program who 
uh, discovers a love for robotics or, or it's a kid who's never played golf before and picks up a club at a gold crown event. We want the kid who's never played the sport before to, to pick it up and try it and, and maybe get some buddies or some friends and put a team together and, and hopefully those kids will grow and, and learn all the things that we know youth sports can, can provide, teamwork and those friendships that last well beyond uh, their youth sports days. That's the stuff that, that really is at the core of, of what Gold Crown does. Gold Crown is, is basically an organization that fills voids in the community. We go in and say, where's an area that kids aren't getting opportunities and how can we help? How can we fix that? Our mission statement is educating youth and community through sports and enrichment programs. But really at, at the core of it and what we really try and, and uh, do every day is prepare kids for the game of life. We added an enrichment program when we opened our field house in Lakewood in 2003 with really the idea of you know, providing a, an after school program that is interest based. Kids come and, and work on STEM projects and uh, the, the objective there was to give them access to resources that they don't have at home and, and maybe not even at their, at their regular school. Along the way, uh, even pre-pandemic, we realized there's a need for, uh, for an emphasis on health. And so we started the Gold Crown Health Huddle, which is a three-pillar approach to, to kids' wellness. For us, it's just being able at the end of the day to say we provided an opportunity that these kids wouldn't have had without the foundation. We, we have a platform that reaches you know, tens of thousands of kids and families every year. It's really cool that the Rockies have enough trust in us as an organization to know that the money that's going to come into this program is going to get put to kids and it's going to be for a great cause. Coming up on The Club, see how Gold Crown helps the youth of Denver progress from their clubhouse to college and a career. It's given me a lot of opportunities and a lot of um, networking skills. So basically without c to c I feel like I wouldn't know which direction I would want to go in or how to start or have that person in my life to like help me. That's ahead on AT&T Sportsnet. Welcome back to this special episode of The Club, previewing the third annual Rockies Charity Night on AT&T Sportsnet. The goals of the Rockies Foundation are to leverage a lot of the things we do and a lot of the opportunities that baseball gives us to raise money from our fans and the community. It's important that every organization, uh, especially those that are so tied to the community, can give back to all sorts of organizations that help different charities, help kids, help at-risk youth. It's an opportunity that we get because of the public eye, and it's one that we, it, you know, we don't take lightly. We want to promote the community, and we want to make life better for, for a lot of different youth. One of Gold Crown Foundation's premier programs is their Clubhouse to College or Career Pathways. This free program can be the foundation for a team to find success in college and career fields they might have never imagined. A lot of the kids that come into this program and a lot of the kids that come into our enrichment program in general come from different backgrounds where a career is maybe never, a, it's never talked about and maybe they don't think that that's achievable. And I think that that's important for these kids to see at a young age that if you come in and you have a passion and you sit down and you work hard, you can go and be anything you want. You can have any career that you want. So we created the, the C2C program, which stands for Clubhouse to Career or Clubhouse to College, depending on what path the, the, the child decides. It's a nine month extensive career readiness program. Have you looked at your syllabus yet? Yes. You know, for the first part of the program, it's really understanding themselves, understanding their interests, and thinking about what kinds of things they can do with the skill sets they already have. The second part, we really focus on problem solving through real world project based learning. So we really try to take a very um, individual approach to each one of the kids to explain to them what different kinds of things you can expect in a career and in work and in your education if you choose to take that route as well. And then the final part of the program is all of the interns are placed in paid summer internships. We have kids that have had a little bit of a taste in the medical field as a teenager. We've had law enforcement experience with some of these kids. We've had architectural experience. I mean, the experiences that they're getting, I think a lot of times opens up so many doors for them that otherwise never would have been open. 
And for most of these kids, they come out of this nine month program with uh, just an incredibly different perspective on what they want to do with their life. For, for some of the kids, it's, it's really a life changing experience. It has been so wonderful and enriching to see all of them grow and change and develop confidence in themselves and have that understanding that they have a future ahead of them and they can do whatever they want to do. We always get a large group of youth that come into the program that are really interested in clinical medicine, but they don't really have the kind of knowledge to back up how to get to that point in their goal. This year we had a really wonderful fit, Laura. Um, she actually is going to Red Rocks in the fall to study medical assisting. Didn't really know exactly what she wanted to do, but we saw her passion and her dedication for wanting to help patients and help people. And she ended up being such a great fit for that partnership with Colorado Eye Consultants. Colorado Eye Consultants basically is a practice that specializes in medical and pathology for eye care services. We provide the full spectrum from you know, patients wearing glasses or contacts to having cataract surgery to corneal transplants, LASIK eye surgery, the full spectrum of eye care. I think working with Gold Crown, they have been a key organization to partner with because they really help produce kids that are going to be working in the community as young adults or go on certain career paths long term. Alrighty, so today I'm going to do your visual field test. Go ahead and put it on your left eye for me. My main duties here were basically doing the visual field test on them, diagnostic testing, getting them ready for the technician and the doctor, basically seeing like where their eyes are at. And every time you see a flashing light, you're just going to press that button for me, okay? Laura was a great addition to our team. I mean, I feel like working with this organization has been a great integration into our business. Not only does it give kids her age the ability to see what it's like to pursue a career in that profession, but it also gives us insight to that candidate as possibly being a full-time employee with us. So what I'm going to do today is called a pentacam. We're basically just going to take a picture of your cornea. What I've learned in the last four years of doing C2C basically is you know, resume building, cover letters, building up the confidence to do interviews without being as nervous as I usually would be. It's given me a lot of opportunities and a lot of um, networking skills. So basically without C2C, I feel like I wouldn't know which direction I would want to go in or how to start or have that person in my life to like help me because I come from a very um, difficult background. So it's kind of like a family that like would help me in my career and wants the best interest for me basically. When I first met Laura, I was impressed with her ability to explain to me exactly what she was looking for in a career. I think they prepared her well for interview skills. Um, and then I think when she came here to our practice, she actually had good people skills. So I think their organization spends a lot of time prepping these kids before they go into a professional environment to teach them how to engage with patients. Laura did a very good job. She was very caring, she was well-spoken, she had great communication skills, not only with patients, but with our team, that all of that plays into a role of how well she did here. Being a part of a team like this was very um, humbling and very eye-opening. I really appreciated every minute I was here and people were so great here. It gave me a definitely insight of what I want to do. The things I learned here and that I'm going to take with me is definitely um, professionalism and how to work in a healthcare office, good team working skills, being respectful of everybody and um, respecting my bosses and my coworkers around me. It's not always easy, I think, to take a young kid and put them in professional settings or for them to even have those opportunities. So they provide a great service to businesses for us to have some exposure to what this person could be like as an employee, but they also are a tremendous asset to the community of kids and how they prepare them to go into the real workforce. And seeing it firsthand and what we've gotten out of it as a business, I think it's amazing. Honestly, Gold Crown to me is just like a family to me because, you know, without them, I wouldn't have like this opportunity. I wouldn't have the friends I have now. Basically, Gold Crown is like my family and has given me so many opportunities. Like, I can never like repay them. Still ahead on the club, Gold Crown puts an emphasis on the whole child in their health huddle. That's really something we need to hammer into our youth, is that it's okay to not be okay. And 
Meet a woman giving back to Gold Crown after the foundation helped save her life as a teen. A lot of people spend their whole lives trying to find what their purpose is, and I already know. It's being here and offering that same community and experience to the kids now. That's coming up on AT&T Sportsnet. This special episode of The Club, previewing the third annual Rockies Charity Night on AT&T Sportsnet, is presented by Southwest Airlines. Low fares, no hidden fees. That's transparency. Mental health is becoming a part of life that our communities can no longer shy away from. As important as our physical well-being, our minds need to be cared for more than ever. Recognizing this, Gold Crown Foundation spearheaded an initiative within their sports and enrichment programs that is revolutionizing how they nurture the whole child. We've focused as an organization on physical health of youth for 30 plus years and decided that we also needed to take a look at the mental health of our youth in the community. We felt like it was important to start addressing how these kids felt and different issues that they may be going through. And instead of just sticking to, you know, can they dribble a basketball and set a volleyball and hit a golf ball? like. We need to make sure that these kids, when they walk off the court, that they're going home and they're still in a good place. Like, they could be great on the court, they shine, they're a star, but then they go home and they've got stuff that they're dealing with that they're not talking about with people. And we want to change that. We want to open up conversations with youth and make sure that they know that it's okay to not have a, to have a bad day. And I think that that's really something we need to hammer into our youth, is that it's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to talk to somebody about it. And that's the other part of the health huddle is we have so many of these adult resources that we feel can be that trusted person for these middle school and high school players. We don't, we don't want coaches to just be the coach and you show up and you go over the X's and O's. We wanna make sure that they are a trusted adult for these kids because Sometimes these kids don't have that at home, um, or sometimes they're not comfortable talking about it at home, but they do want to talk to an adult, and these coaches are right there in front of them. And it's so easy for them to, be, to build that relationship to where they are that person that these kids can confide in. The health huddle is built on those, these three pillars. It's mental health, healthy habits, and sports performance. So mental health right now I think is in the forefront, but we also want to make sure that we're focusing on the healthy habits of kids, which is screen time, nutrition. You know, if you're a parent and you're constantly on the go at sporting events, how can you still provide healthy meals for your athlete? And same with sports performance. I mean, it's also important to talk about stretching techniques, you know, make, making sure that our youth are stretching the right way so that they're preventing injury. And then also rehab. So if you if you do get injured, how can you help your recovery? We have access to those resources. We work with people from the Health and Wellness Center on the Anschutz Medical Campus. We work with Children's Hospital experts that specifically deal with injury rehabilitation. But we want to make sure that, you know, we're covering that that whole child. And and that's one of the phrases that we use here now is you know, we're, we're focused on the whole child. And so having the mental health, the healthy habits, and the sports performance part of that helps us to be able to hit all of those different pieces. Kids learning that it's okay not to be okay can have a huge impact on their lives and in certain situations, save their lives. Brittany David, now a coordinator in the Gold Crown Clubhouse, shared her story about what the foundation has meant in her life. Me and my brother were at Creighton Middle School for like uh, seventh and eighth grade and you know I wasn't popular. I wasn't you know the typical kid. I wore hoodies in the summer and like I was just a weird kid and like I didn't feel accepted at all and I have a lot of like uh, mental health issues in my family and it's hard to deal with that when you're 12 years old and you know coming here it was I could get away from all of that like I didn't have to focus on that like I didn't have to worry about you know where my mom was at or you know if we were going to be safe in our house or if, <laughs> all the crazy things that were happening I could just they would go away because it w I was here and at least the coordinators they made me feel accepted and wanted like they were okay with you you know expressing yourself creatively in a way that made you feel comfortable. Like if you wanted to go outside the box, you could. And just like all the people at Gold Crown, they believed in me. And having one person believe in you changes your whole trajectory. Like 
it can really change your mindset and your perspective on what you're capable of. I started drawing when I was here. They really pushed me into saying, your talent, you can go and do it as a career. And going to school for illustration really made the difference. They really saved me in more than more ways than just like pushing me to go into college or pushing me to try Photoshop or Illustrator, just you know, doing everything that they could to support me where I knew I wouldn't have that support at home. Yes. I love that. Yeah, there should be an area. Yeah, do that one. These kids have nowhere else to go. They don't have access to a 3D printer or a laser cutter or a music studio, and they really find what they're, they love here. That's the pathway. You don't know what you can do for a kid until you're sitting at a table with them, drawing or coloring or making something, and you're learning from each other. It's not a one-way street. You know, mentoring for 10 years, you, you learn a lot more about yourself you develop as a person and you know I feel like I have purpose in life and I think like without you know that support system I wouldn't I wouldn't be alive like let's be honest like depression is real and like especially when you have things coming at you from every angle your friends hate you or you know your home life sucks having that one moment where it's like you deserve to be here you deserve to live your life the way you want to. A, a lot of people spend their whole lives trying to find what their purpose is, and I already know. It's being here and offering that same environment and that same community and experience to the kids now. The financial part of it is like you're supporting us helping those kids and giving them new opportunities, whether it's like a new vocal booth, a new mic, or you know, art supplies, anything like that. Whatever financial, you know, support we get, we put it right back into here. It, go, it doesn't go to any of us, it goes to the kids. Up next on The Club, we'll check out the bag of swag you'll get when you decide to donate. I'm not sure why they included Spilly's game bat in here, <laughs> but they did. Actually, it's an all-star game mini bat, which is pretty cool. Plus, We've got the best of the best from the week that was. Red slam, Connor Joe! At the legend grows. Stay Joe, with us on AT&T Sportsnet. Joe. The club returns, previewing the third annual Rockies Charity Night and highlighting one of Gold Crown Foundation's beautiful facilities. It's a magical place for kids who play youth baseball. It feels like you're in the big leagues up there. You're on a great field, it's got the stands, and it's the same brick and same architects that built Coors Field. And Kelly McGregor was a big supporter of Gold Crown, and we were uh, fortunate to, to benefit with uh, some money to help us break ground and get uh, Coca-Cola All-Star Park built, which is a, a mini Coors Field that uh, since 98 has hosted tens of thousands of kids and you know thousands of youth games and uh, high school state championships have been crowned at, uh, at All-Star Park, so it's, it's got a lot of that feel to it, which uh, is exciting for the kids. What an amazing venue to not only play at, but to take in a game as well. Some of the proceeds from Charity Night will ensure facilities like these will continue to foster the youth of our community to be their best both on and off the field. When you decide to donate to the Colorado Rockies Baseball Club Foundation and help Gold Crown with their mission, here's a look at what you'll get with your generosity. Now that we've heard a little bit about who's going to benefit from Charity Night, let's find out how you at home benefit. All of this can be yours in the home run package for just $250. We're going to have Huey do his best Vanna White. Well, first you get sunglasses. How cool is this? You get a Rockies magazine for when ski season comes around, folks. Who doesn't need a beanie? You get the Hall of Fame Larry Walker patch. Shot glass for my shot ski, which I totally need. And then a couple current players baseball autographs. All right, well that means I got the former player autographs. Right here I got Eric Young and I got Nolan Arenado. You never know who you're gonna get. It's kind of a hit or miss. You got a Larry Walker bobblehead. I'm not sure why they included Spilly's game bat in here, but they did. <laughs> Actually, it's an all-star game mini bat, which is pretty cool. We got a Larry Walker commemorative pin. We've got a voucher 
for four tickets to any 2022 game, which is pretty cool. You get the bag that comes in, but that's not all. Wait, there's more? There's a little bit more. If you're willing to spend a little more, $750 total on the Grand Slam package, you get yourself a Charlie Blackman or a Trevor Story autographed jersey. It's your choice, so that's pretty cool. Whether at home or you're coming down to the ballpark, come on out and help the Denver community. Once again, make sure to join us at Coors Field or online at rockies.com slash RCN to purchase your Rockies charity night bag on September 2nd. Together, we can make a difference in the Denver community by helping Gold Crown and the Colorado Rockies Baseball Club Foundation and their many charitable partners. Let's celebrate all the amazing work these two great organizations do with the Plays of the Week. Oh boy, he put the barrel on this one, and he's still in the prone zone. Hit pretty well to right center field. Does it have a chance to fly? You bet. He knows it. He knows it when he hits it. This ball's drilled to deep center field. Did Joe get all of it? You bet. Grand slam, Cutter Joe. And the legend grows. We're ready to rumble. This ball's lifted to deep left field. God, Ryan McMahon hits a two-run go-ahead home run. Freeland finishes the day in right field. <laughs> Dodger Stadium, CJ Crone yet to hit a home run there. We're ready to rumble. That ball's blasted. Jenny, you were on it. Pitch is like, oh gosh.